If you wanted to come back in your next life as a congressional district, you would not want to come back as Illinois too. The most recent holder of that seat, Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr., is now awaiting sentencing after he and his wife pleaded guilty to using three quarters of a million dollars of campaign funds for their own lavish personal expenses. Things like a $43,000 Rolex and a pair of stuffed elk heads and a hat that once belonged to Michael Jackson. Congressman Jackson resigned. He's facing more than four and a half years in federal prison when he is sentenced this summer. Before him in Illinois, too, the previous representative of that district also resigned. He went to prison. Congressman Mel Reynolds served in the mid-90s until he was convicted of several charges, including having sex with an underage girl who volunteered on his campaign. Ugh. Before Congressman Reynolds, Illinois, too, was represented by Congressman Gus Savage, who was investigated by the Ethics Committee for accusations that he forced himself on a female Peace Corps volunteer on a congressional junket to Zaire. Congressman Savage denied the allegations, but later wrote the woman a letter of apology. So the last three tries at representing Illinois, too, in Congress were kind of a nightmare. Which brings us to tonight. The Associated Press tonight has called the race to fill the empty seat in Illinois, too, for the Democrat in the race with 76% of precincts reporting. This candidate received a little more than 74% of the vote. So behold, the newest member of Congress, the latest to represent the people of the 2nd District, is Robin Kelly. The people of the 2nd District, frankly, deserve a break and some decent representation. Tonight represents a fresh start for Illinois. Congratulations to the district. Good luck. I hope it works out better this time. We will be right back.